Hello everyone, Killer73 here with another episode of Subnautica. This is going to be episode 6 and I don't know if you watched the previous episode but shit just went down. I didn't expect that. A fucking cannon just blew up a ship full of people. You might want to go and watch that. So yeah, let's get back into this. Let's see what we have to do here. What the hell are you? Just went back to being normal. Oh god! What the fuck? This device matches no known technology and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed by the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, this is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Oh shit, hell no. Hell no, bruh. Oh my god, I need to save. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Where the hell was this from? What? Where the hell did this come from? Oh, is that the ion cube? What? What did I get? Find the enforcement platform. Ancient technologies. Download data. Unknown language. Attempting translation. No way you translated it this fast. This came out of nowhere. Oh, there's an ion cube. I don't think I have space. It's gonna take up like four slots. Better scan it. Ion cube lightly. Oh, it just takes up one slot. Oh, there's more, okay. This green mineral substance has no entry in the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially, cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely uses batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Valuable energy source. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. I guess there's a second data. There's one more over here. It just takes up only one slot. That's weird. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Oh, 
I wish I had a gun. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room what? in the lower section. Oh. I thought I was falling in slow motion. Like they slowed down the video, it's just uh Is that water? That's water. My God. Oh my God, this feels so scary. I feel like I'm gonna get ambushed at some point. There's another one. Should I be taking all of them? Oh! Is there a gun? There's a gun! Alien rifle. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from this case. Oh, come on! I need a weapon right now, man. Oh, but there's water over there. What am I supposed to do? And there's a path up above here as well. Oh my god. There's so many paths. So many choices. The paradox of choice. Save here, just in case something happens. Oh, so I can enter from here as well. <gasps> now that's starting to feel like Outer Wilds. Okay. Okay. I see something purple. Let's get a free tablet. Also, I can enter this facility even if I don't have the purple key card. Is that a bomb? Doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. facilities control room lies beyond this doorway. But I feel like this is towards progress. So just before we do that. Oh god. Don't fall all the way down at least. Ah, you're fine. I want to go here. Because this is a different room. Is something going to pop out? No. Okay, so this is where I need to insert the ion cube. Something had popped out before, right? Okay.
What the motherfucker? God damn, stop! This device houses energy equivalent to a hundred million ton nuclear detonation which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Oh no. Oh no. Ah shit. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. I'm infected. Translating background broadcast, downloading summary to databank. I'm infected. The planet got infected. So anybody that comes in, they're going to shoot it down because they don't want the infection to spread. Oh my god, this is like Halo. There's an infection. It's the flood. So wait. Does that mean I can interact it again at some other point? Oh, I can! I need to find the cure, cure myself, hopefully not get infected and then come here. Oh my god. This came out of nowhere. What the hell? I haven't read the database yet. Energy core. No. Codes and clues. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Depth 800 meters. Disease research facility. Cave system with extensive fossil record southwest of enforcement platform. From the southwest. Function life specimen study. Objective synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated CARA. Thermal power facility. Depth 1200 meters, location inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Generate energy for all local facilities. Sanctuary A is corrupted, everything is corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off world. There it is. And that's the power source. I guess I can't interact with it. I can just see that it's here. Oh no. That is very hostile. That guy is very hostile. There's no way that guy is not. Oh god. Wait, what? 
Did it just teleport? This thing is so fucking deep. Look at all this power. It's night time too. About to become daytime. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. This is not what I thought this game was about, but okay, I'll take it. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay. Restore the titanium. And one more tablet. Punch. Eight. Cut. Eight. Cut. Eight. Cut. Eight. Cut. Eight. Where's the tablet? There it is. The salt. Yes. Mother. <gasps> How much salt do I have? Four. Let's get five. There is a cave here. Why is it glowing? No, fuck off. Sky Ray. Wasn't it just daytime? It became night so fast. This is facing south. But oh, this place is on the north. I wish I could have made a beacon here for this. What the f- There's a teleporting motherfucker. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Which way is it? The attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Crew requests assistance. Navigation radiation sunk to approximately 100 meters. Located in an area dense with red grass near a number of natural arches and rock stacks. Transmission origin approximately 400 me meter west northwest of Life Pod 4's last known location. Okay.
Navigation aid, maintains and broadcast its position, configurable name, right. That is what I need. Paper, I see you. Come here. I'll get you as well. Three, four, five, six, six. Oh, no. Almost half an hour. We have two more salts. We'll go get two more peepers. Fiber mesh makes bandage made kits. Okay. <sighs> I want to try out though crafting foundation two two titanium two lead right. So, let's get four lead. Oh, but now I don't have space for titanium. Wait a minute. I got this. I know what to do. Get four titaniums. And make two boxes. Oh my god, it takes four. I thought it was two. Okay. Metal Lithium Gold Playing partially translated broadcast Nine new biological subjects designated Mode Hunting Analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. Well, those guys are dead. Because whatever that was, that's definitely dead. Uh, let's get the lead from here, silver, that, that, and quartz. Yes, perfect. Now it's looking better. First things first, I need to make a battery. Two acid mushrooms, those guys are right here. Titanium. Oh. Yo. Holy shit, that this is huge. Oh, it can't be floating, right? How do I place it? I'm 
construct. Oh. Dude, this is insane. Holy shit. Oh, I need a shit ton of lead. I need a shit ton of lead. But I do have the titaniums. Which means I can at least start with the walls. Right? This is hull integrity. How do I make oh there it is? How do I make walls? Base plates. How do I make walls? There's no wall. Oh man. Wait, what? Pack up, okay. No, I don't want to pack up. Let's keep one iron cube with those. We need purple tablets. Do we need more tablets though? Nah, let's just keep one. Okay, uh. I think this is where I'm gonna have to end it, guys. This is... Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how to make walls, but... I'll figure it out. I need to... Find the proper resources. But this is where I'm gonna end it. Let's just stop here. This is a perfect, perfect. What a game. What a game. What? I didn't even expect that alien whole thing. On top of that, the whole infection. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to like this game. I can see why people compare it to Outer Wilds. Let's hope the journey is good and I hope you're enjoying. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay.